What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying with the goddamn hair, y'all league. So, Royalty calls her family on CJ So Cool. Unseen videos of CJ So Cool and family in the street. Girl. I knew once CJ So Cool said that he was paying Nike $20,000 to come to the kids meetup, it was gonna go left. So CJ arrives at the pickup for the kids and there are six dudes surrounded around the car. So six dudes is crazy. I'm not gonna lie, that would have pissed me off. He may not be wrong when he's saying he feel like, you know, she's gonna hurt him or have him hurt or whatever. But not only that, he shouldn't have gave her a warning on Nike. I'm not even going to lie. I know he was trolling, but respectfully, she's scared of Nike, y'all. She's scared of Nike. So with her being afraid of Nike, she feeling as though she got to protect her life. Since you supposed to bring six women, not men. CJ ain't putting his hands on you. So there's one dude in the bushes recording. The a dude in the bushes is crazy. This is from his camera, this right here. And then this is from CJ's camera. I just have to pull a gun out in my child's and my children's pickup. I had to pull a gun out because their mother, Charlene, she didn't have her musty outfit on today. I gotta give it to her. She didn't have that dusty, musty, crusty, rusty, whatever you call that material outfit on. She didn't even have a scully on. She had that dusty Gucci rag on her head though. But she had the audacity to bring six Goons to my kid pick up six goons. That's how you feel. Okay. Well, guess what? I keep my CCW on me. And I, I don't know what a CCW is. Definitely keep that tool on me. Definitely Just like I told all them dudes that was there, I will blow you down. Stop testing me, Charlene. Actually, I know what to do. I'm gonna restrain and order you up, and we'll never see each other again. He shouldn't even announce that he was going to give her a restraining order. All these announcements, that's what I was telling y'all when Buddy thought he was about to threaten me like I was about to be so scared for my life. You gave me a warning. So I know when I go outside in the streets of Atlanta, which I already do, <laughs> I already do. But I know they even maybe bring another one because you think you're going to play with me. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not telling information that wasn't already known. I'm a lesbian, nigga. We don't walk around free. <laughs> Men have an issue with us. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I got to protect mine, and I'm damn sure going to protect me. She know CJ going to protect himself. But I will say this. Y'all know my my perspective is going to be a little different now because I just dealt with a death um, and a young death. You know, it's totally different from you losing your grandma. My grandma was 85, 86, and she lived her life 80 years worth. Now, when your brother died at 34, that's a different feeling. You know what I'm saying? But not only that, that's a different thing to speak about. You know what I'm saying? Because um, we we here, we dealing with this shit. You know what I'm saying? We dealing with the young part of it at, at that. And it's a lot. You know what I'm saying? So they going to get hurt. I don't, I don't understand the warnings. I don't understand why he felt as though he need to put Nike on her. Well, Cap, I know why he 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 wanted to put Nike on her, per se. But it's just like, Nike is a woman. Like, Royalty, you could fight Nike, you know what I'm saying? But I don't even think Nike was there to fight. However, I would have been ready to protect myself from Nike as well. But since he gave that warning, you know, whoever's around her, she probably feel like, nigga, you ain't finna play with me. And it's just a mess. And these are two children he dropping, they dropping off. It's crazy, man. I would not look forward to doing that uh, two days of the week. Who is filming? Who do with the camera? That must be his videographer. I told my bros to go to the store for me. That he found these in the street. How you gonna throw my baby stuff out in the street like that? Rosie responded. 
He needs your back. Then she said, play Big Bad Wolf just to cry? This situation is definitely getting out of here. You got the twins, you got Kamari, you got six dudes surrounding the car. Then you got CJ pulling out. I said in my previous video, they should just meet up at the precinct. It's the safest thing for both parties. But y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking at this. Y'all shouldn't meet at all, bro. And life is too short for all this goddamn stress. And everything I say now is going to be life is too short. It is. Get used to it. But it is. It's way. But I feel like I've been saying that. Who the fuck want to deal with this every day? You know, or, or twice a week. I feel what he was saying. Like, that's two. Like, that's majority of my week. Two bad days is a bad week. So they need to have somebody else meet up. This is the most dangerous shit. But with fuck y'all with these kids. At this point, I'm going to just keep y'all updated. Now, let's move on. Let's talk yes. about Jazz because recently Kiana did a prank walking I'm around so with my towel in that. front of Flo, which Jazz was also there as well. People in the comments were wondering why she was looking at Kiana, Crystal's friend, if she's still she with got Crystal. On towel. Yeah, y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Now, let's move on. Let's, let's talk about... I'm going to do another video on um, Regine and this guy. Uh, whoever he is, y'all honestly don't know who Cuz is, but I'm gonna read some of these comments for the last two minutes. This is getting unnecessarily dangerous. Uh, the cops need to be the middle person for drops and pickups, and, and they would have to pay the cops for that. Uh, this is getting dangerous and completely out of hand, and that goes for both sides. People thought it was a humor. It, people thought it was humorous that CJ was threatening to bring Nike to the drop off. Well, clearly Charlene didn't think. She didn't think so and felt the need to bring people of her own. CJ sparked this nonsense with his trolling. If he was truly concerned, uh, he would have either hired legit security or got the authorities involved to avoid any further issues. But instead, he decided to play games. Well, this is the outcome. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. CJ should have been handled this issue with Charlene offline through his lawyers and authorities. And that's a fact. Uh, I can't feel bad for this man because he started all of this mess. He constantly talks about this damn girl. Then you threaten her life. Then you threaten her a lot on her many times and more. I see so many people defending him, but can't feel bad. He talked too much. And I agree with that. Cause I had my moments where I, I really defend them both. Cause it just be like, yo, like, I don't think y'all realize what y'all doing. Y'all so caught up in this fucking drama with it. Y'all not realizing a, that you're harming the children. That's number one. I mean, they seeing all this bullshit and this yelling and this. Just no structure. It's This is a mess. No one is better than the other person between y'all two. Both of y'all are bad as hell. You know what I'm saying? And in a minute, both y'all kids going to get taken from both of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, CJ, you put online that you had to bring a gun to the meetup. She got niggas waiting to touch you or whatever, which you had every right to protect yourself. Both of y'all going to lose these kids. And it ain't worth it. Whatever y'all going to do what y'all want to do. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Uh, who y'all think wrong in this? Bye, child.